Hello, and uh, welcome to a pre-Blade show, Knife Nuts Extra. We did originally want to do a full episode before this, but things are getting too crazy. <laughs> um, I think what we'll end up doing is doing a full show with uh, Tactile, Knife Co., uh, when we get back, just because everybody's going nuts here, and there's a lot to cover, so I think and it's best Brian's to do that in this scenario. Brian's going to Blade, right? And he's got stuff to make for in time for that. Brian, yep, yeah. So yep, yep, yep. So Brian, right. he's done now, but uh, I'm also in shipping hell. He's in shipping hell. <laughs> so very bad timing on these Plus, packages you know, arriving. Also, full time job on top of all this. So yeah, a little bit, a little bit crazy here. The baby but dealer. I'm happy to be able to. to <laughs> yeah, right. I, I'm I'm not happy that that's stuck. I'm not. What yeah, we gotta do? erase all traces of that from the internet. Right. That's right. Burgeoning um, knife dealer. Burgeoning, small time. You know, all that stuff works. Um, and that sort of thing. Uh, the micro evos are in my possession. I'm still going through them, checking them. Uh, getting them ready for shipment trying to figure out if I if I have any extra I know I said I thought I had three in my latest post on Instagram I don't even think that's true so uh, if you come see me at Blade Show at booth 409 I might have an extra one I don't know what I'm going to do if I'm going to do it first come first serve or do it as a, uh, a lotto but we'll see what happens either way most of the uh, KMP micro evos should be out this this week, so I'll have them out before Blade Show. Yeah, don't get your hopes That's up about getting one at Blade. <laughs> it's, no, it's probably the summer. Uh, if you do come see, if you do come see me, I, I will. I, will I, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see yeah. what happens. I'll, I, once I'm there, I will make a solid announcement of what I'm doing. Yeah, that was pretty nebulous. Yeah. But we'll here see. they are. They look really good. The, the yeah, other housekeeping. Uh, they do look beautiful. They are such a tiny knife. It's so tiny. <laughs> I think I've only actually um, seen like the micro typhoons. Not the Evo, but the micro typhoons. Maybe once. They are much smaller than I realized. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think... Excuse me. The... um. Micro Typhoon actually feels a little larger than these because these have all that those contouring. Uh, but I don't know; it could be either way. Uh, some other housekeeping from my uh, small-time dealer world. I want to put this out there. I'm s batch two of Crystal Knives should be going out soon. I'm still waiting on a few of them. Things are moving so slowly; um, it's crazy. Um, I will try and ship them out as I get them. Um, but probably don't expect too many of those to go out till after Blade Show, just because of the you know, just trying to yeah, avoid I'm... a lot of. I think most of the the uh, real steel rockets all all shipped, um, except if you ordered a crystal knife along with it in batch two. I'm trying to save them so I can um, put those together. <laughs> yeah, um, that makes sense. I might have some extra. I might have some extras of those to put uh, uh, to sell, which will be good. Um, I also, right now, you can get... Uh, I guess we can talk about that before we get into all the Blade Show reveals. Um, I have a weird knife up for sale under the KMP import section. Um, it's it's called... It's by a company called Reptilian, which is a very Russian brand. And this is called the Finca 002. Okay? So it is a sub-5 inch blade on this guy. Um, with uh, just over 10 inch overall length um, it is a very here's what's not nice about it it's good looking and it's a scale release lock so not something you normally see at all on manual knives um, it's it's com more common in the auto world like uh, the Protec whiskers um, and things like that uh, the uh, the touch guys they use a variation of a scale release but it's actually pivots at the bottom and not the top but either way this thing is very very cool very very charming big knife um cost a bit to import um i tried to keep the price as reasonable as possible 
I was aiming for 100. I was able to bring it in just a shade under. Um, very cool knife. Just uh, a lot of fun. You know, great action. <laughs> How does the lock work on it? Like, is it is it just I, like a, a liner lock that the scale, you move the scale and it like actuates it inside or something? No, I have no I idea how these it's, work. It's more like more like an axis lock. There's a spring oh, okay. in the oh, okay. in the scale. The scale the scale actuates the the you know, it's it's like this. So this it's probably got a, like an axis lock mechanism in there that's being actuated by by the scale. Interesting. But it's a really strong lock. I what I did was uh, um so with my supplier I was like, "All right, I need to try some weird stuff." So I, or, I ordered a lot of other weird stuff, too. But this is the only one I think that made the cut. No, no pun intended. Uh, uh, I also have an, an older version of this, which is like all lightning strike, carbon fiber, and flat scaled. The action isn't what? Really as nice. And it doesn't have... Yep. And it doesn't have a fuller in the blade. Like, this is just... This is the best version of this knife. It, so it I, looks... I opened orders for 30 of these. It's pretty, right? It truly looks like a it's fixed like a, blade, like in a good way. Yeah, yeah. It's got great yeah, proportions. Yeah, it is. It's you a gotta lot send of one to, to handle, you know. You gotta send the one to the advanced knife, bro. This seems very. This seems I like already have video. I are way ahead of you. Because <laughs> this way is silly. Yep. So I'm. Yeah, I'm. I'm putting. I'm getting you one, and I'm getting Mark one. So I have no idea yeah. what I'll everybody do. With this, laughs this my, everybody laughs at my. Everybody laughs at my my silly russian knives but you'll you'll enjoy it i promise i wasn't sure what the hell i would do it but i ended up uh i'll also i'm also bringing it with me to blade show so if you want to check it out come see me at um i'll have some crystal knives too so i packed those up my suitcase is with brian he's putting it in the in the truck and taking it with him oh nice you can play with all the all the crystal knives i have a prototype of an upcoming uh well, by the same OEM as the Crystal Knives, and it's another Ivan Braganitz design. So I have a prototype of what I'll be shipping soon. So come check that out as well at Booth 409. Um, yeah, so Reptilian Finca. I think I've sold, you know, it's been a slow weekend, so I think I've sold like 12. I have like another 18 spots left if you want to get in on this. Um, yeah, 100 bucks. Can't go wrong. It is very cool. I still can't remember what ZT fixed blade it looks like uh, to me. Uh, that that probably will not come to me because none of those are memorable. But you know what? It has an old school ZT feel about it. It feels it really very does. substantial. Yeah. It is. Um, I would they're check out uh, one than any thing. ZT I've ever gotten out of the box. Too, they're, so. they're actually they're numbered. That's kind of neat. I wouldn't have expected yeah. that. Uh, I'm check your you. local laws about this because I think. It, it's a it's technically a gravity knife like if you're in new york proper stony i mean the size alone should tell you not to carry in new york so <laughs> yes um certainly not in the city uh can you do you so do you have to release the scale or like move the scale to open it or do you just like no it just kind of you, you can op- you, you can open it you can open it two-handed um uh, mm. but you can also you know as you see in the videos that i've done you can release the lock you can push the lock back and then fling it open okay uh i as um, god intended this w- what would be really neat is if you could send us you know people used to do auto conversions <sighs> this would be very cool as a scale release auto <laughs> it's terrifying dude yeah i don't, uh, I don't, know. I don't that's a, that's I don't a, a lot, lot of play that anymore <laughs> yeah i mean i imagine this would be pretty easy you just put like a portion bar in there and be done with it yeah i mean it's kind of already set up the exact same way that the scale release autos mm-hmm. are but it would probably pirouette mm-hmm. out of your hand and do like a 360 before landing on the ground. and land in your foot yeah <laughs> yeah Ugh. it is a gnarly blade and and the reception to it I, I posted it up thinking guys i think this is cool maybe some of you do too if i have like five of you that think that it is i'll put it up you know and so that's They've sold point. better than I expected for something that. Well, it's because the price is decent. It's like it's a novelty, but you don't want to yeah, spend could, too much on a novelty, and this is yeah. pretty okay. I was trying to make them cheaper, but just getting them into the country costs money. So, you know, you got to remember everything is shipping from Russia to me, and then I ship them out. So, it's a it's a whole ordeal. I I would uh, like to point out either way, <laughs> you you could get 
mm, okay for 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 one third more money you can get a uh you can get one of these fincas instead of <laughs> the elementum button lock. yeah and it has yeah exactly and <laughs> that's a knife that has one third of the character of the finca. Yes. Yeah. The word finca sounds really familiar. Uh, I don't, I don't like saying it. I don't like saying it. It's finca. <sighs> what, what is this? It, I think it, it means something in, in not in Russian. Uh, I can't remember. Is it? I don't. This is a. I'm extremely going on a tangent here. I think it. Oh, yeah. So it's like a a, uh, a farm in Colombia. There's a finca, but with a C and not a K. Okay, that has nothing to do with anything. Nope. Nope. Challenge coins. Let's, um, challenge coins. Uh, No, I, so, unless they show (laughs) up between, what's today, Saturday, today and Wednesday, they are not going to be at Blade Show. Oh, that sucks. So, isn't that ridiculous, dude? (sighs) That's unfortunate. You know, when I used to order them, they would get here in, like, five days. From like printing now, them to arriving, from, from getting them done to when they were to to when they would arrive. Now we're closing in on two weeks, oh, and they haven't shipped. Sucks. And I told them like, "Look, I have a trade show. <laughs> That's what they're marked for." <laughs> you know, is is it because of the edge engraving? Like, is that the I thing that's win. slowing it down? Because none of the ones we've done before had the edge engraving, right? With the numbering. I think it's just every. I think just everything is slowed down, dude. The, the challenge everything. coin knife. I mean, the challenge coin demand has just gone through the roof. I, so what I'm going to end up sucks. doing is I I took I I removed the order. You can't order them now on the website. Yeah. Um, until I uh, know what's going on with them, um, I'll probably take some orders at Blade Show if if people want them. <laughs> Um, and if they, you know, I'm sure people will, but whether or not they'll want to plunk down money for something, I'll have to, you know, ship them later. Uh, and we can way, just put them I'll, back I'll on the website. The up for yeah. sale. I'll just put, I'll put the rest back up on the website um, after the show or during the show. Yeah, All right. That's what I'll do. I'll run it during the show. It's a, it's a cool configuration. Oh, well. It is. I mean, it's like, uh, it wasn't there people oh, dude. knives for Blade last year? That I went all out with this, so. Yeah. There was, uh, yep. there's Blade 2020 limited edition so knives. these are so. all. <laughs> right, so. Yeah. You, you, all, everything is paved, the, the road to hell is paved with good intentions, right? Here we go. But yeah. these will be the high polished silver, which we never did before. Um, I enameled the purple and the teal too. Um, so if you got a micro Evo and a full size K and P, um, that's the photo op right there. You know, so there was some thought, you know, put behind it. Whether or not that <laughs> thought will ever be realized within the next week <laughs> is uh, not get ready to assemble your eBay auction. But it could. your complete eBay so, auction. So you know what? So here's. So here's the thing. So I was hoping they'd be here by the end of the week. So I, cause I took a ride to Brian. Um, mm-hmm. what? Yeah. Uh, at, a, at one point. Um, and, uh, I was hoping I would have these to give to him to put in the, in the, um, sorry, my mom's calling me. <laughs> she always knows like when I'm doing this. Hold on. All right. Uh, what was I just saying? I was hoping I'd have the coins, um, to bring two Brian's to put in my suitcase. So, worst case Ontario, as Jake would say, I would, I will have to throw a whole load of coins into my carry, <laughs> into my carry-on bag to take with me. Like, just like gonna be... fucking Scrooge McDuck type character. Yeah, I was gonna say just be clinking around. It's like, sir, why does why does your your backpack weigh forty five pounds? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, hopefully they get uh, here in time. What are what are what are the? And remember, remember they're like two inch coins, so they're they're yeah, they're, they're pretty heavy. Um, yeah, the the two I have are not are not light. Yeah, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. 
at least they're at least like they've been ordered and they're made. They're coming. They just might not be here for Blade, which is fine. No one's gonna yeah. know that you didn't get it at Blade. Yeah, I or I ordered them before, and it wasn't like I I took the pre orders for it, and and I, I I ordered them flat out, and then put put them up for order, thinking they would be here and I could get them shipped out before I left for Blade. But no. How many variations of the coins have but we done no. now? Anyway, like four um, or five other stuff. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Uh, Something like that. I feel like that's all the podcast stuff for now. <laughs> Unless I'm forgetting right. something. Uh, let me tell you something you're, while you're on my Instagram. The Surge keychain knife. <laughs> that thing is an ergonomic marvel. Uh, it works so well. It looks so bizarre. Then you get it in your hand. You're like, how is this good? It's amazing. <laughs> You have this really thinly sl- thin, like little cleaver blade. It's perfect. It's like, it's like it is big. tiny. Yeah, it's tiny. That is, I mean, that is a, beautiful. An, really, really well made. Really well made. And available. At That's blade a blade HQ, HQ exclusive. That's only okay, a blade the orange HQ exclusive. All okay, so you can get you can get the rest of them from. Oh, okay, so you can't get them from Surge. They're only a blade HQ. Mm-mm. Yeah, this model oh. is is a blade HQ exclusive. So is it just a slip joint? It's got. It's just a little slippy. Oh, okay, cool. I wasn't sure if he did the the detent slip joint or if it was like a traditional spring slip joint. Mm-mm. It's got a little spring, oh. which I prefer. Yeah, yeah. That's. It's I not think, just on frankly, a hinge. The better way to do it. <laughs> yeah. Correct. Neat. Yes, very neat. Um, Protech. Uh, I received uh, one of the Pro- one of Protech's Blade Show exclusives. Which is uh, a new version of their popular Runt folder uh, uh, auto. Uh, very cool. Um, the, this version is a hand ground mirror polished Warncliffe by Mike Erie. This one has uh, an aluminum bronze alloy handle. So it's a combination of aluminium and bronze. So you get a harder material. Pretty Interesting. Cool. And, it, and it will still patina. I assume it's very heavy because so, that looks v- quite thick. It's 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 substantial feeling, but it doesn't. It's not that heavy. Yeah, well, um, I mean, and it's... you have because it's not a big knife. <laughs> no. And then you have the mosaic pin button. It's just a really cool thing. Yeah, um, these, are these California real... legal ones? Like under two yeah. inches? Oh, okay, uh-huh. yeah, I was gonna say it's tiny. Yeah, um, that's the, cool. Uh, there's aluminum versions, you know. There's going to be a ton of them, but these blade show ones have the mirror polished blades and stuff. Pretty neat. Yeah, that's I also nice. finally got for myself one of the Malibus with the titanium handles and the mother of pearl button. <sighs> Those it's are nice. So nice. They yeah. are so nice. The Malibus um, are great. Yes, Protect stuff is always good. Um, yes. Other blade show stuff. Can we go to Leong Ma's? Uh, so oh yeah, Leong like, has been showing off I'm a lot tr- of. I'm cool going to leave Blade Show with nothing but with a lot of riots. <laughs> yeah. So, first off, that the 18 with the wave pattern. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Love. I love that. And it's got that. I think he has to zoom in really one. There we go. Bead, that really fine bead blast finish. That's like a polished bead blast finish all over it. I love it. Um. I think these pictures got, probably don't do it justice. They're a little, they're a little too Leon, bright. Leon, it's kind of hard to say. Liang Ma's, Liang Ma's photography skills are uh, will always leave me wanting. But it looks really good. That's very okay. There we go. There's yes. a better shot of it. So is he? Did he say he like? Is this a David Den came up with this or something? This this. Uh, I'm assu- that's pattern? what I'm assuming because it, you also see this um, pattern on some of the new Riot releases as well. Yeah, it's nice. It's it's certainly unique. Um, it's better than the checkering, the faux checkering that that Leon like usually does on the full titanium one. So I, I I think I prefer this. I don't mind the checkering, but I this is much nicer. It's a way more complex pattern too. I mean, Christ. yeah, the machi- that is that is nuts. This is gorgeous too. I uh, I'm not usually a big fan. Is this like a is this carbon? Is this carbon uh, fat carbon? It's or fat or carbon, like not carbo quartz. quartz. No, fat carbon. Right. It okay, says. So- 
Okay, good. So it's fat. Fat carbon that looks like carbo quartz. I think that's what the effect is. Well, good. That means it's priced like fat carbon and not like carbo quartz. Yeah, that stuff came and went. Which one do you? Which one do you? Which one do you like more? Do you like that one or do you like the the milled one better? Uh, I kind of like the inlays. It just is neat. Just I don't know. Just an an extra level of coolness. I understand. I don't know if these are the inlays I would go for. I understand. I think I still like the the milled one. Yeah, I mean it's it's definitely unique. You uh, know, there's... so you know here this is why because I feel like it's only an integral if it's still one piece of titanium. <laughs> Once you That's put fair. inlays on there, it's not an integral anymore. Uh this I really like this I one. Thought... This stuff is incredibly difficult to see the actual pattern in though. Yeah. 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 That's nice too. I thought it was wood at first. But it it uh, looks like wood. It also looks like I nothing think, in, when it has a lot of shadows. Like, yeah, uh, let's see, some sort of brown. Like right there, it just yeah. it looks like brown micarta. <laughs> but the uh, the the pattern in it, the brain coral carbon fiber, it's interesting for sure. Not bad. I don't know. I'll get. I'll try and get better looks at all this when I get there yeah. early on on Thursday. Because uh, Leon bought a, a micro Evo. So I have to, I'm oh. bringing his to deliver I'm bringing his to deliver to him. Yeah, so. he went all out with the materials here. Um this is the purple He's have, I texted him I was like, "Yeah, I love that. I don't know if yeah. I'm going to be able to resist that." Yeah, uh, okay, let me find it. Okay, so I guess that that photo was the best photo. I didn't realize it was purple at first in this first photo. Uh Yeah, I didn't I just realize thought it was regular either. marble carbon fiber and then you see it. It's That's cool. Good for Leong. It is neat. Yeah, he really went all out with these, but it's very you cool. know, it's I'm appropriate. Glad. These I'm are, glad. yeah, the two integrals. I, I wonder. Is, so he's not going to have the rest of the catalog. It's just going to be the eighteen and the L one at Blade. But I don't know. He said I texted him. He said I was like, how many more variations of these do you have? He's like a lot. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's, like, oh no. He's got at least two or three of each of these ready to yeah, go. So I'm, I'm I'm definitely concerned for my wallet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, good for Leon. Go to Riot's page. I want to see what they've got for Blade Show. I just I would like to talk about a... TKI, but it's going on as we speak, and stuff is going crazy. This is I kind of uh, dig it. Is this designed know, by I, I, David Deng's brother? Probably. I would like to see it with the with it op- with the blade out, but so far yeah, I like it. This is very. Uh, what's his solo Jack? <laughs> Whatever his, his his brother is designing, <laughs> like mm-hmm. uh, the the pseudonym he uses. Um, this, Western this, name generator two point oh. Yeah, um, I don't know the pivot. I don't think that pivot gets a lot of love from anybody. I don't think anyone really likes it. Uh, it reminds I, me of like something... I'm usually not. I'm usually not into that overdone thing, but I kind of I kind of like this. It looks like something. I hate to say this. It kind of looks like the CRKT Brian Ty kind of stuff. That's that's the vibe I'm getting from yeah, it. Yeah, but you, I, this but you one's know not this for me. Is, but you know it's going to be made well. Oh, absolutely! Like it's that's never a question with with Riyadh. It's never a question of quality. It's a question right. of design. <laughs> that's the thing. And then there's just fine. How about, this one, how about which, the other one? This one kind of looks to me like a really nice. Um, oh God, what's the Japanese company that we talked about a few episodes ago? Uh, M Custa, like a Rockstead, Custa, or or uh, a Rockstead. Yes, this it has is very... Rockstead vibes. It has Rockstead vibes too. It's very Japanese looking to me for some yeah, reason. I lo- but um, it, this I like it. Nice. The only question, the only questionable Why? thing is the is the yeah glass breaker. Maybe I mean they could have just gone with a regular screw to hold that. The yeah. presumably, which what we can't see is the is the pocket clip on the other side of this being held in by that. It looks like it's gonna have a deep carry clip. That's held mm-hmm. in by the glass breaker. I don't know. Not not the choice I would have made, considering this is clearly not like a tactical knife. Um, it's pretty though. I have to see how big it is. Uh, yeah. Also, yeah. It could be very the, small, and that would that would ruin it. That would ruin it for me. Um. Does Riot reply to their comments? Okay. Reversible pocket clip. Oh, it says the glass breaker is a spare part, and that means there presumably will be just a regular screw. That's good. Nice. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, if it's small, it's not going to do it for me. But if it's like, you know, three and a quarter, yeah. three and a half inch blade, I would like that. Yeah, they haven't replied to anyone's comments with the size. Right. Uh, I guess we'll find out soon. All right, wait. Uh, they're, they're going to be at blade? Someone's yeah. going to be at blade representing them? Yep. Oh, neat. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to go check all that stuff out. So. Oh, okay, they don't have... I was going to say, they need a home run after that hideous version of the tribute that they put out recently. That I wow. think has... Everyone has just like, what is? Is it this one? Yeah. But uh, it didn't. It didn't stop Slicey Dicey from putting it on his website. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just like the materials just contrasting. It's just not not good. No, it's not nope. good. All right, what else we got? We got. Um, I know there's something else. Um, oh, go to Demco's. Oh yeah, they have the compact. Uh... There's only going to be like five of those things, dude. Right? This is. I'm going to try and very get limited. One. John yeah. hit me up. He's like, dude, I I made an MG. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Eighty twenty. I I I thought of you when I was making it. It's three V with purple G ten. I'm like, dude. that's pretty cool. I mean, that's very cool. But these are even cooler. So I was like, I need to get one of these. I can't tell how small they are. They're still not that. It's cool. compact. It's Demco, yeah. so compact is an extremely compact relative term. Compact is like, you know, large knife. It's still a large knife. Yeah, I need, dude, that thing is awesome looking. Uh, Do you not agree? I, I agree. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure out what this comment from Steve Ryan is. Uh, I, I just, it's like. That they use the same lock on, the, on some surefire knives? I thought Demco invented this lock. No. Steve Ryan designed every knife before everybody. That's his mo. <laughs> go look at go look at every comment that he puts on everything that I post. It's like oh, I didn't. I designed this. I didn't want to say ago. it. I, I just you know, I like Steve Ryan. I do. I think he makes some cool looking knives. But I I don't gets, think that's how he's going to respond to that comment. He, no, he gets a little ahead of himself. I, it's just it's like dude, you don't need to do that. Just just promote your shit and don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I still don't see anything about the size of it, but it's neat. Uh, I, uh, I'll I'm I'm gonna I'll be in there on Thursday. I'm, after I help Brian set up the booth, I'm gonna wander around <laughs> and play with stuff and annoy people. So and apparently they're gonna have ones in Magna Cut, which is pretty cool, since uh, oh. Magna Cut is the new jam. Wait, yeah. there's now another AD twenty. What's the twenty point five? Is this the official term for the compact one? Or is just I a think whole new knife? no, no. The twenty point five is the small, per, smaller, thinner production model. Oh, cool. Yeah. Hey, good for them. They are doing very well now. Demco. Yeah, that's that, that's a that's a foreign produced. Oh, okay. Yeah, but they yeah. just had those ones with the, uh, the the cheaper model that was you know cheaper. Also, a relative term here. <laughs> um, yeah, well, they did the ones with the grivery. Yeah. With, uh, yeah. Are these them? But those are, that's just a regular 8020. These are, I think, FRN or whatever. Well, these ones look like titanium. I am not prepared yeah. here. No, it's, that's, that's just, it's just a gray grivery. See, it's thinner. Oh, it's okay. Like FRN, yeah. 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 All right, well, we'll yeah. find out a blade anyway. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, they got, you can, a lot of, I think Metal Complex already had a couple of the prototypes to play around with of those so yeah. yeah i'm glad i'm glad they're finally putting out knives in larger numbers since yeah um well i mean they were just getting a long started time. doing that stuff yeah i just love yeah, those well, guys they're just great yeah. people hey, andrew was making customs for years even while you know mm. uh, ostensibly he still works at cold steel uh but um it was not easy to get them and now they are making them in larger numbers which is cool because a lot of people want these yep I mean, I have an eighty twenty, and I absolutely love it. Um, I had originally ordered it with the with the three V, but I got sent one with the twenty CV. So I think it's an embarrassment of riches. Uh, John is is uh, it's like, hey, look, I have this three V one for you. So I'm like, yeah. I, I kind of want one of the more expensive ones. So now I'm like, ah! I don't know. I like how they. Do. They use interesting G10 colors. Like this looks like a. I love that. Like the, or, and the ordering page for Lamborghini. 
just whatever it's wild true. bright colors. <laughs> you know mine. You know mine's that neon yellow too. Yeah, you don't see that G that. Uh, yeah, you don't see that G ten getting used often. The I <laughs> like, like weird I neon use, yellow. I want I I want to use it on a future KMP edition. Yeah, it's it's neat. People really don't they don't use that, and they don't use forest green G ten often. That's true. Yeah, cool. What what else do you want to talk about? There's uh, who else has this? There's, there's a new ZT. ZT has announced two knives for this year. I think the O nine O nine and the seven six two. No, they they announced them a they while showed ago. These, at, at they showed these already. Yeah, yeah. I know these are these are yeah. for sale now though. They're just now this shipping is, to dealers. I didn't oh, realize wow. this one was going to be this expensive. I mean, I could have figured it out when they put out the the map pricing, but I did not know this one was going to be three hundred twenty dollars. Yeah, no, thank you. It's a subframe lock. Cool. That's cool. Um, hmm. At least the blue stuff is titanium and not aluminum. I'll say that they were that's using true. aluminum was, at was, one was, point for sort of aesthetic. That was the and, next question. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's I know, not I, bad. The, I'll, I'll, I'd like to check one out at some point, but the price they'll is have them at Blade. Scary. Someone, someone will have one at Blade. You can check it out. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't know. Three hundred twenty dollars is right. more than I expected. There's, there's my comment. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine it would have been like around the two fifty, two seventy five price range. Yeah, that's what I was expecting but, you know, as well. But I don't know. it's you know USA made. <laughs> Experience. Um, let's see it. if there's a... <laughs> Oh, by the way, I got you a present. <laughs> I can't wait to send you this present. <laughs> oh. Yeah, uh, GP oh. not. Let's see. Um, we I, th- I think we mentioned these at one point. The Boker Plus Quake. And you know what? What's funny after our rant about uh, about James Brand and 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 what they feel like. You know who did the whole thing that the James Brand does, but way more successfully in terms of not upsetting people is Lucas Burnley. If you go to Luke Burnley's uh, Instagram, it is he. You can't even tell that he used to make knives. <laughs> Like, he's fully a lifestyle company now. And you know what? No, I, it seems like it's working quite well. I understand. I get that, too. But, you know, it's it's a different thing when he's doing his own thing. He literally is doing And he his was own a thing. custom maker. He is very, he, yes. has, he has earned all of his. He's yeah. earned the, the, you know, and, his spot and as I, a custom maker. And I believe, I believe in his, that, that's his personality. You know, that's who yes. he is. It has nothing. It's not a marketing gimmick. It's not a whole thing. He is he is who he is, you know. I believe that. it's not a gimmick, but there is a lot of marketing. I mean, he's doing it well. Like if you go to his website, he sells like kind of cool stuff. Most of it isn't knives. It's it's like Sling sort shots, of in yeah. that Prometheus design works kind of you know soft gear or whatever. I call still want to do a I still want to do a knife nuts version of 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 a Denine pottery mug. Is it's it expensive? That makes the, it's, oh, it's the same. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, yep. Uh, it's expensive because right, go. you got to start it up with a with a mold. You know, oh, you got to do a point. mold. You got to do a design, and then they got to make a mold, and then you choose your glaze and all sorts of stuff. So it's it's a pricey thing. So wow, thank you, Eventually, Tom Crine, for sending us those Crine knives mugs. Then yes, remember when he sent those while oh, way back? That well, was awesome. it's they're pricey to, to have made. If you once you have them, they're yeah. not that pricey. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that one was thirty five bucks. I, I, right guess that's probably what people are asking but yeah no i was just, just a random observation because i was like what's going on with lucas burn like these days and i went to check his, his instagram and i was like there is very few pictures of knives here anymore no. good for him i mean who wants to you know no one wants to get pigeonholed into one income stream that is, that is correct extremely volatile the custom knife market so not according to the prices at tki right now <laughs> But that makes so, sense this year. There's a lot of people whose wealth increased, and they have nothing to spend it on for the last year, so now they are buying everything. Okay, so... It makes sense. Those Shiro, custom Shiro's at TKI, uh, over 20K, each of them. For that each. seems like the logical progression from what Shiro <laughs> was getting before for okay. the open bid knives. All right. Um, Lee Williams, oh, I think... The Russian Loxaw. Yeah. That is... Great. You, <laughs> have they ever like had a, a collaboration with a with a bad maker? <laughs> it's crazy how well these are picked, like perfectly picked. Jesus Christ! Look at that knife. Oh my God! 
Jeez. Yeah, that's something. That's really but super. Hopefully I can win the lottery when uh, when the regular... When they make the plebeian when it, versions? When they make the peasant ones, yeah. Oh my god. You, Even that's you know, like, sexy. Here's the thing. If these are quote-unquote, you, you know, the the rumor that always goes around about them being made in China, who is making these? That's <laughs> like, what, that's, if that that's was even I'm, true. That's what I'm saying. Like, this stuff is not made in China. Like, these are made by very talented machines. Like, I'm sure Sergei Shirogorov is involved in this. This is this is stuff that is is obsessed over. Like, just I, in and around the machine is, is a whole thing. You know, I love these the CD and there's L hours ones. upon th- hours upon hours. Me too. These are all so good. The quantum with this bronze. I, I love this love, bronze carbon fiber. I would love to have one. <sighs> like yeah. I get why they bring in the money. Like they look really cool. And I think also like there's some uh, they're very you nice. know hometown pride. I think the uh, wealthy Russians tend to to also like to own Shirogorov, so you have uh, some deep pockets that you're working against. I also I, I really enjoy these the crazy Chinese micardos too, so. that they're doing. Yeah, but man, mm-hmm. I wonder which one is the one that went for over twenty thousand. Uh, all of them. This. Each one. It's no, dude. Even, Several even of them like went for went for twenty grand. It's not. It's not one win for twenty grand. It's each one went for twenty grand and over. Oh man, it was wild. And then the Lee Williams stuff went for I think nine and fifteen or something like that. Lee um, Williams TKI stuff. That's believable. His yeah. stuff still brings uh, in really also, big numbers. Sync, yeah, and, and his stuff looks really good this year too. Um, Sinkovich's cool. stuff, I went for around ten. It's Ten not, for Sinkovich seems. And... That is. I think it was just it was just titanium. I don't even think there was any Timascus on it. What is happening on this thing? I need to get a better look at that. I don't. I don't know what's happening here. But that. Oh, maybe it wasn't ground. Okay, there we go. That's the final product. That's nice. Aren't Ooh. those cool? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's see, RJ. <laughs> RJ Martin stuff. Uh, RJ Martin stuff went for a lot too, but yeah, damned if I know why. I love this one. It, I mean, it's cool. I guess. I would say that um, most of it looks like stuff that he normally like makes. I, I am a little. That's what I'm saying. It's it's the same it, stuff for the past like 15 years. And it's great. I mean, you can only get his knives at shows. I never. I don't see people just popping up with like, oh, I just got my new RJ Martin off the books. <laughs> So, if that's how you get them, that's how you get them. I mean, the Q36 is classic. Like, the profile's classic. I'm not surprised that people still want these. Like, I guess. The interest will never die. I do like this eyeball one, though. I've never seen someone do that. I quite like it. I love how it's just, like, like it's like an eyeball like a five-year-old would draw. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's cool. I'm I'm about it. But yeah, big year for uh, TKI. So shout out to Recon 1 for resurrecting TKI, buying TKI, yeah. whatever they did with yeah. it. Buying it back from the evil overlords that Do you think like, I, do you think I do you think I am attending the wrong show? <laughs> TKI versus Blade? No, right. because there's a there's a reasonable chance you could come home with something from Blade. There is a, approximately a zero Go- chance you could get something from TKI. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't, unless you're selling me, unless you're putting up a reverse no. mortgage on your house. Oh, that, well, oh, I understand what you're saying from from a money perspective. Yes. Yes. Um, go check out what crazy man Chuck Gadritis has is making right now. Oh yes, I know. <laughs> okay, so I need to stand on principle and say I hate this because if anyone else made it we would say we hated it but it I can't, is so I, incredible like the craft it is incredible is amazing it, it's amazing are you kidding I me want, look at this only so only one person would make this chuck Gadratus. only person who would make this i feel like chuck is he's an amazing knife maker and like one of like the, he's so like underrated a, one of the most underrated knife makers out there like makes can never is always got something coming you know like there's never not a knife coming out of his shop and like this look, thing is insane 
He yeah. is like he does art knives like really really well, but also does these like you know automatic, automatic Swiss Army knife style knives. Like I don't know what those he are does. sick. He is those are just, very sick. Like maybe maybe he's maybe people are starting to really acknowledge how good he is, and he's also very very friendly. Um, he's he's he's, he's really very nice. nice. <laughs> so I don't want him to think that I am poo pooing this knife. I just no, personally can, hate it. I'm I mean I impressed. can't. There's literally no reason for you to like a, a marlin shaped knife. I mean, or what is this? Is some sort of <laughs> it's a marlin swordfish, I think, or a swordfish. Marlin. Okay, all right, marlin slash swordfish. It is <laughs> crazy. It's amazing. I just the mammoth looks so much like fish scale. It's it's like just perfect. I've gone back to look to stare at this so many times. I I, I need to ask him. What was the inspiration for this? Is this at TKI just like, or is I'm this gonna at do Blade? It? If this is at Blade, I cannot wait. I cannot. Uh, it says Table 5E, which makes me think Blade. Yep, yeah, that Blade sounds show. good. Hells yeah! Oh, man. I cannot wait to bring you guys a video of the Marlin knife. This is... Oh, he's also gonna have this at Blade. I Dude, that thing is sick. This reminds me of the, uh, the, Star, yes. <clears throat> the Star Trek Enterprise knife. Similar concept. Oh, I understand. If this this is much more. Um, or I, I meant the fish knife reminds me of that. But I this, understand. This okay. is just neat. Five and a half yeah. inch blade. Yeah, that's badass. Does, does, so does that have a trigger on the guard that is your switch? I think so. That's I yeah. That's what that's, it looks like. I believe that's what that is. I, I just realized it looks like a bird. I didn't get that at first. It's a bird. Oh, oh my god, I see that now. It's, I see the guard a is a bird. And then the pivot yeah, is an eye. Guard. Oh man. Chuck Adrenus is super, super oh underrated. I hope he's Chuck, teaching someone how Chuck to do was, this stuff. Chuck, Chuck was locked in the house <laughs> over, the, over 2020. Because <laughs> these are next level. These are next this is, level. I, um... Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's very cool. It's awesome. I don't, I don't. There's what? not a lot of people I feel like that do knives like this, and then also knives like the crazy art knives he does. I so. love Chucky. I love him. This is this is great. All right, He's what else we got? You want underrated. to take a look what Brian's bringing to, to Blade? This is good, good, good because I actually don't know what he's bringing. <laughs> I was I was at his house. The uh, whatever I can't remember what day it was. Oh, I went. I, <clears throat> he hasn't been posting and, much. Uh, uh, I guess he had him in his uh, in his story, but I handled the the, the next gen uh, versions of the of the dagger of the arch like nemesis. Yeah, updated. yeah. Oh my god, dude! They they have like an enlarged pivot, right? And they don't look much different to the naked eye, but as someone who's handled a bunch of them, they're even more refined than they were before. It's unbelievable. It's it's it very believable best, is, with it Brian. Is best, it is the best knife that Arch Nemesis. He's done. So this he's still working on. I hit a couple kinks. He's got to work out with how he uh, is presenting this uh, multi this multi ground blade. But the ones that he's bringing are just hollow ground. Oh, okay. Um, oh yeah, he's really know. he's kind of going ghost here. His story. Yeah. <clears throat> His stories are gone, and uh, he has not really posted anything. Yeah, well, he's he's, he's he's still shipping out micros as well. Yeah. Um, Bad timing. Yeah, he's got a couple that he had his uh, that amazing uh, dragon scale Damascus zirconium um, um, tempest tempest. Auction yep, the right there, there, the middle one That's, here. That uh, congratulations to whoever got that thing. I think it went uh, it went or got out of hand quickly. The price so. did it really? I didn't even get it. Yeah, it was. I think it was over four. Oh, good for Brian. Wow, I didn't I didn't mm-hmm. realize it went for that much. I was not I was not following mm-hmm. the actual auction, but it looks like he also uh, took the post down. I am very very yeah. Curious. He's got he, he's got a couple. He'll have a couple others at Blade. I don't. Uh, I think he's that one in that picture. Actually, I think is coming. The two in yeah. that picture are coming. Yeah, I don't know. There's some other stuff. There's I think there's a void, a void XL. I'm saying. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's been a while. And a couple other things. But definitely, you're, you're going to want to come to Brian's booth quickly if you want to get some of that. That's that's booth 409. 409. Okay. I was going to say, I don't know Brian's booth number, and he doesn't have a post here. 
I so. can't forget it because it's it's the same as that cleanser. Remember the four oh nine? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've got I've got a I've got a bottle. Anyway. Um what other stuff do you want to talk about? I'm so tired, uh... I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything. Um let's see if there's any new releases. Uh oh wow, here's something you don't here's a company we don't hear about much anymore. A. G. Russell. Coming in with an M390 Swayback. Oh, ma- made Let's by it. Mazarin in Italy. Okay, so it's made, it's made, it. Let's it's not made even... by... Well, they make good slip Let's... joints. I'm just, I'm just oh, surprised just to see the A.G. Okay. Russell name. Yeah, yeah. No okay. locking folders. Not bad. That's yeah. not bad. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Uh, does GP9... Have, uh... No, that's kind of it. Hey, Mike Erie Customs. Speaking of Mike Erie. He knows how to out. grind a blade. Yeah, does he like work for Protech or I, I don't know? What, I think he's what local. I think he's, he's a local affiliated knife maker. Then, yeah, yeah, he's um, contracted. These are fantastic. I have. They're this, pretty good. Uh, not this one. I have the one I, with the silver scale. It's really good. It's not perfect, as it shouldn't be at ninety dollars, but it's it's very good. It's making my import stuff seem like such a bargain. I've got. A, I'm, I'm just going to put that out there. Eh, yeah. Eh. I, I like, like I like though. it. Is that one? Is, I, that, I, is that the one in the in the nitro V? Yeah, it's a nitro V. Um, it's neat for ninety dollars. I think it's a really excellent design. I wish we would do a version of it, but who knows what we's doing at this point? Yeah, I don't know <laughs> for their for their uh, prestige line. Uh, what do you call it? There's now going to be a Civivi version of the banter, which is going to be a tiny version of the banter. <laughs> Wait, so the so the mini banter, let's uh let's go to is branded as a Civivi. It's going to be uh, well that's a probably a big big move for uh yeah. It's just Ben, ben is just under oh yeah, Maps. I, I don't know what he goes under. Uh nope, I guess it must be on his personal page. Um Oh, yeah, that's cuz we is so far all in on Civivi compared to their like you know mm. OEM work for custom makers that want production knives. They like you can tell that that they have set up Civivi as an Amazon brand because mm-hmm. the website is so much better developed. Like the there's a, the whimsical warranty information that the boxes come with. Like you yes, can, which I kind have, of liked when you sent that. I to like me it too. Day. It seems much less like a faceless Amazon brand when you have. Uh, a funny little right. warranty statement, but they are—they must be making so much money off of Um So good for Ben that these are probably going to yeah. get sold on Amazon, which means Ben should yeah. have some uh, good residual income. <laughs> good for him. That's what I need to do. I need to hook up with some Civivi goodness. <sighs> Even five percent of Civivi, whatever the you know the the normal royalty rate, which is yeah. Just absurdly low in the knife world. Uh, even five percent of whatever Civivi is selling is probably pretty decent. Mm-hmm. That purple one's cool. Also, yeah, that G10. Uh, I've never that blue G10. I've, is they're rendering, so we'll see. It might. I was going to say that must be a blue, rendering. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I was going to say I don't think they make G10 in that color. No. Uh, no. Nice. Good for him. That's cool. D- definitely. Let's see. Uh, what else is there? What do we got at DLT? Uh, <laughs> pass. <laughs> Wait, does it come in a wood box now? <laughs> no, we. You know what? This show just may as well be us getting overly fixated on DL on uh, Jake Hoback I'm, every week, no, and that's I'm why not, I'm just. I'm not. Look, right I'm not. It. I'm not doing it. No, we can't do it. I'm this not going to do it. We do it every week. Ooh, 135 dollars for a Timascus. CRK pocket clip. That wasn't made by Adam Purvis. No. And, and it wasn't made by uh uh oh god, who's that who's that OEM company? <laughs> the Millet. Mm. Wasn't made by Millet. Uh not a lot go not a lot of new night unsurprisingly, because a lot of these companies are gonna be There's not gonna there's not gonna there's not gonna be much. Um Okay, I gotta ask, why is this one fifty? This doesn't the Smith and Son thing. I, I don't know. Okay, here here is what is extremely shocking to me. Country of origin, Italy. This is 
I would have pegged this for a Chinese knife any day. You know, it looks um, like um, it looks like what's this, what's it called? Steel will. Yeah. With the anodized aluminum pieces. I I don't ha- I don't hate the overall like presentation. Yeah, it's supposed it, to but... look like a sod buster, like it's a traditional. I I one hundred fifty dollars seems rough yeah, for the price. The price the price is nuts, as usual with the Italian companies. Um, <laughs> Smith and Sons, yes, naturally the Italian brand mm. Smith. Yes. <laughs> um. Yeah. There's I don't think there's a lot here. Uh. This week, unsurprisingly. No. Let's oh, uh, was, go look. You know what? Someone commented, Grissom is a real guy. So shout out to Grissom yes. Knife and Tool. He is not yeah. a faceless Chinese company. So he is He's a real a person. person. Good for him. Uh, uh, and you can get his knives uh, on here as well as <laughs> on our new affiliates, uh, Urban EDC Supply. Yeah. Let's check out some of their stuff. Uh, I don't know. Do they have like a new <laughs> section? Um, well, they do. A, you know how they how how it works? They drop stuff every Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. that's when they like add their new inventory. Mm-hmm. Um, and stuff usually sells got... out quickly. Uh, oh, this is what I'm surprised that. Well, I know this is like a Japanese pattern, um, but this is kind of what that uh, Riot Wave pattern reminds me of. And I think this is just lasered, but I that's just actually la- that's... quite like that. Oh, but it's only lasered on one side. Hmm. Okay. It would be cooler if it was on both both sides. Pass. <laughs> it's not bad looking. It's just... I'm uh, a sucker for, like, it, ja- it's traditional Japanese styling. Ex- <laughs> which I know r- conflicts with me yeah. and my hatred of Duhara's knives <laughs> and Koji Hara's mm. knives. Ignore <laughs> that. Um, but let's look at uh, some of their knives because I really wanted to point out this one. The one that that is their knife. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, I like. I design. like it. I like it a lot. One hundred twenty-five dollars right. seems. Yeah, it's a titanium frame lock with a milled clip, yep. an M three. Yep. Hold on, this is a hundred. Is this the like? Are you going to pay pre- extra, I, or is the whole thing one hundred twenty-five dollars? No, I think it's probably a, a, a pre-order, like a, what do you call it? A deposit. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's a... De- <laughs> All right, let's see what the pay, the pay in full is, 240 Okay, that's a, that makes more sense. That's not, that's, that's still not bad. No, not bad. M390, this is cool. Um, this is, uh, I like that they're branching out into their own knives. That's cool. Yeah. The Nesmuk, it reminds me of a... Our our friends at BRS with their Revo line have that Nesmuk mm-hmm. uh, liner lock as well. That's a great knife for the money too. Yeah. That the Revo uh, version. Is it you messy? Can get that with a carbon sure. fiber hand and nail. Yeah, it's very cool. This is yeah. This is neat. It's cool that they're doing their own uh, doing their own thing. I hope these turn out well. What's the size on that thing? Uh, three point two five inch blade, seven point seven five inch handle. It's uh pretty stocky though. Yeah, that, that looks uh, it looks chunky. Makes it's sense with the weight now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Neat. I like. Good for them. Is there anything? Let me see. Was there anything else that you wanted to talk about? No, well, that's. I think we covered all of it. I mean, there'll be a lot more after Blade to talk about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just wanted to get some time to digest some of the stuff that I've been seeing. Um, Leong Ma's Riot stuff has has uh, well Leong Ma's new stuff the stuff for Blade Show has been plaguing my my brain since I saw it. So yes. Oh wait, one last thing. This new Sog OT made in made in the USA OTF. Oh yeah, duh. There was very a, interesting of OTFs. The other the other big thing that I'm looking forward to at Blade is the Model C C deadlock, deadlock? which is seventy seventy one aluminum. Mm-hmm. Um, with the Type Three hard coat anodizing, uh, which is so replacing titanium parts, right? Which so I is, bet there's going to be some titanium st- for auto. Yes, titanium for auto is is work. Well, they also said like but the, the if you read the um, the email that they sent out that titanium seems like a terrible material 
frankly, in terms of what they had to do, yeah, where they had titanium. to carbonize all the parts and stuff to, to make it um, yep. have less friction. So if there are dumb people for, out there that are auto, like, ooh, I don't want it going to aluminum, they're dumb. Yeah, especially if it's, I mean, that's true. Um, titanium for automatic knives is, is never a good idea because everything galls, it creates friction. Um, 7071 is a massive upgrade in terms of materials for making that that uh, that model and the this, price will go down uh hard type 3 hard anodizing so this rockstead is 7071 aluminum <clears throat> with the type 3 hard anodizing it does not wear well i mean i'm sure it'll wear at some point but i've had this knife for years and it like still looks pretty new like it is nothing like 6061 with a type 2 uh Hard yeah. anodizing. They, they, their email was great at explaining that. Like they don't. You, very Brian loves. People, so it's n- yeah. not like they were going to just make these decisions willy nilly. Uh, Brian loves seventy seventy one aluminum. That's like one of his favorite materials. It's just uh, that. You know. I, I'm sorry, he hasn't done a frame lock. Seventy seventy one. He's never done frame I, lock. He's like I don't. I don't think it has enough spring to do uh, a frame lock. Titanium is better for a frame lock. Yeah. Um, but uh, as far as he's lock. done, he's done um, what do you call it? Uh, backspacers and stuff like that in seventy seventy one aluminum. Back in when he was doing the uh, the field grade typhoons, the original yeah. full size ones, those had seventy seventy one uh, backspacers. Zirconium, I mean, well, since Brian only really makes high end customs these days, he has no reason to make a seventy seventy one frame lock, but. If you wanted to make a cheap version of his knife, it would be cool. It would, it would be cool, right? Yeah, yeah, but he has cool. no. With Riot now, he has no reason to try and make, like you no. know, stuff in his garage that isn't a high end custom. <laughs> so, That's correct. Yeah, but but just just to say uh, on the material itself. Um, and that's that's one of the things I'm I'm really excited to check out at Blade is that Model C. You know. Yeah, those are going to be. I'll they're, be doing. I'll, I'll be those. doing a little feature with uh, with Gavin Hawk while I'm down there. So we'll talk. Those about deadlocks it. are going to. They're going to be making those into like their like 70s <laughs> or 80s. Like, or well, sure. Gavin will be. They uh, they really hit. Uh, they struck gold with those. Okay, uh, yeah, although although Sog claims here that they have some kind of new mechanism to to eliminate blade play on their three hundred and fifty dollar OTF. So we'll see. This is my skeptical face, but I mean, I would take hey, that over an infidel. I was just going to say it's better than an infidel, so it doesn't yes, matter. That is correct. And it's cheaper. And also, I, I even like the way it looks better. <laughs> yep. This looks great. And it's got the same sort of top mounted uh, switch. So mm-hmm. uh, as long as Sog is, has, has been doing much better in the last couple of years in terms of making mm-hmm. like. It's SOG, not Sog. Oh, uh, wow. I'm never going to do that. That's just like the guy that created, you know, the animated uh, image format says it's pronounced GIF. I'm never going to say that. I'm just going to say GIF. I say GIF. You really say GIF? I do. (laughs) Well, I'm going to keep saying SOG knives. That's fine. Um, On that note, um, we'll be back. Uh, Maybe when I get back from, uh, from Blade Show, we'll record like a, like another mini and then get into the full episode. Sounds good. All right. Uh, thank All right. you to our lovely patrons. Uh, if you were a patron, if you are a patron, and you didn't get a swag pack or any of your perks, I'm working on that. Still waiting for some stuff to come. Uh, DM me on, on Instagram, too, because trying to wade through the system that Patreon puts in, in place is a nightmare. Um, we'll get you your stuff. Um, maybe I'll have Dave make me a spreadsheet or something. That way I can... <laughs> I can do yeah. it easier. <laughs> um, other than that, uh, thank you for the continued support uh, for not only the podcast, but also for my import project. Uh, thank you to our sponsors. Thank you to our uh, amazing affiliates. Uh, go dip, Please use the links in, in the bottom below. That'll help us out quite a bit. Uh, what else you got? That's it? Anything? That's it, I think, right? Have, have fun at Blade. I'm gonna try. I'll, I'll I'll definitely keep posting updates as I uh, 
as I go through. Jake won't be there with me, unfortunately, so um, I'll be going just trying to run around like a crazy person after I'm at, at Brian's booth. Come and see me at Brian's booth, too. Um, I might have some stuff, but if not, I'm sorry. Um, but I'll see you guys there. Bye. See y'all. Bye. Bye. All right. <laughs>